girlfriends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Rapsby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be your June 2019 monthly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And just as a reminder, you know, if the reading doesn't resonate, please take what does. Feel free to watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything you need to know right below the video in the description box. I do do some pretty cool shit on my Facebook page. I'd love to have you guys follow me there. So for you guys, I am using... I'm going to show you the box. That's huge. So we've got to put it like right here. The Anna K tarot now I've had it for a while it's a beautiful deck I love it wouldn't I know it's not a popular deck I don't think on on YouTube not a deck that I would use for a love reading but a client yesterday specifically asked if I had this deck and if I would use it and I pretty much told her the same thing I'm telling you guys that you know not really a deck I would choose for a love reading. Turned out absolutely beautiful. Just did Gemini because it's their birthday. Beautiful. Virgo, I'm hoping the same for you. Sun, moon, and rising suns. Virgo, June 2019. Spirit, love. Virgo, love. Let me get such a hit here. So sorry, guys. Your cards feel perfect. Yes, these cards are slippery. So Virgo, I'm going to be doing a nine card spread for you guys. Oh, so sorry. Goodness, having issues here tonight. Okay, I just got done doing Facebook Live a little bit ago. But it's all good, energy's good, nice. Knight of Pentacles, beautiful. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Death card. Sign of Scorpio. Under the Seven of Swords. <laughs> I love reading for Scorpio, though. Oh, wow. Virgo, what is going on? The Eight of Cups. This is a big ending. Or a huge transformation. Four of Pentacles. The Lovers. Son of Gemini. Beautiful card. Wow. And the Six of Cups. Gemini had this card too. For those of you that possibly have Gemini in your chart, you got that twice. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see all these cards and it's just not happening. There we go. Let me do this. Wow. 
Wow. And the Nine of Cups. Beautiful emotional happiness. An emotional wish coming true. Just really feeling content. Happy. Really just happy. Even though things are moving slowly. With the Knight of Pentacles. But you know. But this is, you know, slow but sure progress. Don't forget the Knight of Pentacles, which is your energy. Virgo always reaches their goal. You know, this, this. It's almost like this Seven of Swords just doesn't belong here. Not really. So the Seven of Swords. You know, being in a relationship that has to do with deceit. You know, it can also be your own deceit, Virgo, right? We've all been there. You know, like our own. But, what am I looking for? Being your own worst enemy, right? Whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. Now, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, male, um, with the Earth, Scorpio, Gemini, but there's been definitely been very slow progress because of lies and deceit. You know, Seven of Swords definitely could even be sneakiness going on, someone not being honest with you. It does not necessarily have to be cheating. It could even be little white lies, but you're getting what you want. And this person is a soulmate. We'll get there. You're getting what you want. Death card right in the center of this reading. Sign of Scorpio. But big changes. Transformation. Really, in a love reading, really just huge events happening in your love life. Something that changes where things are never going to be the same. Now, it is sitting next to the Eight of Cups. Which, both of these cards together, really is an ending. So, you definitely had an ending here. Someone walking away, a big ending for some of you. You know, could have been that you, you know, you're tired of the lies, tired of the deceit. And some of you are literally allowing yourself to be free of this, you know? Especially, I mean, definitely men. The Three of Pentacles is under that. But it is only one person. No, no, with the death, I mean... You're just tired of the lies, the deceit. You could be the one leaving, choosing to end it, finding the commitment that you really want with the Four of Wands. You know, for others of you, someone could have left you, left the marriage. You know, but it did. But again, the Death card. 
is an ending and a new beginning. You know, you have a commitment here. So if you're wanting someone back in your life that did leave you or you left them, you know, it was because you, obviously, someone wasn't happy. But yet, Virgo, this is your overall energy for the month. So, emotionally, you are very happy. And I feel like it's because of this big change, transformation in this situation. And I do see you getting your stability and security back. Marriage, commitment, a long-term relationship. Others of you are ready to leave emotional baggage behind. If you want to continue in the relationship, you have to leave the past in the past. Move on. Look to the future. You have this really, and especially in this deck, this 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 beautiful love relationship between two people that are really in love could be a you know a marriage a long term commitment this could be your soulmate really for some of you this is your soulmate if you're married partnered you're with the right person. Could be someone from the past that's coming back. With the Four of Pentacles, it could be, you know, you resisting change, clinging to your safe place, not open to new possibilities. You know, someone could be, you know, holding on to the past. Especially if you're in a relationship where there's just no commitment. And you can't move forward. Some of you that are coupled could be dealing with issues from the past. You know, it definitely could be that your, you know, your ex that that's coming back is having is having these issues. It could even be that this ex is having issues of not wanting to move forward, resisting change. But for some of you, that's why they ended things with you. It's pretty interesting. But yet, I still see you emotionally happy. And I am going to get some more cards. to apologize but my mouth has been a yapping additional cards I'm also going to be pulling you a romance angel card so one for each row um, those of you that do follow me on Facebook you know the, the cards got to pop for me okay Seven of Wands. Queen of Cups. Interesting. And the Five of Cups. Let's see what's at the bottom. Oh my God, you have guys have both wish cards in this reading. 
You know, some of you, listen, some of you do have a big wish coming true. Big. Really big. It's emotionally going to make you very, very happy. I think you need, it, it, this is the most optimistic card in the entire deck. Listen, I think you need to stay positive. Such a beautiful card. Emotional, definitely. Stay positive. A communication card, too. Big healing energy. Unfortunately, I just... There, there, there is definitely emotional sad energy here with the Five of Cups. Loss, regret, sadness. I, 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 again, listen, I feel like you're very emotional. Like you're hurting someone. Someone has hurt you emotionally. Especially if you're a female with water in your chart. I mean, you're very emotional. Overly emotional. Female. If you have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in your chart, this is probably you. Even in your Venus for love. And men, because this is your energy with the King of Pentacles, you're most likely dealing with a water sign female. Or a Gemini for both of you. A Scorpio. Male or female with, with the Death card. Maybe an Aquarius. Listen, it could be anybody. Well, not not fire. Not, not, I don't. I don't. I'm not feeling it for the fire. I think some of you are definitely in an emotional place right now, and the Seven of Wands is saying, "You know what? Confront this bullshit. Confront it head on. Fight for what it is that you want." Some of you actually could be confronting someone that lied to you, deceived you. Some of you could be confronting someone from the past, but again, there is resistance here. And, and I feel like there's disappointment and there's emotional energy, but you're going to confront it. They're going to somebody is speak their mind and I feel like this is absolutely going to turn around for you really wishes and dreams coming true and Virgo the ten of wands is under this so after dealing with hardship Just burdens, anxiety. Someone, look, if there's, somebody's coming out with something. The high priestess, somebody's definitely coming out with something. For, for, for sure. That's going to make you emotionally very, very happy. Romance angels. Whether it's you, it's just, it's just going to turn it, the whole thing, all over, all over. It's just going to turn it around as soon as someone speaks their mind. It really is. And you know what else, too? Look at the colors in both of these cards. The moon, like the background, the blue. All the stars here. I just happen to notice that. You can't make that shit up. There's a lot of communication. And. Somebody really is getting their hopes, their wishes, and their dreams coming true. Leave your comments. If you're that person, I want to know. 
know I'm a Virgo too. I'm nosy, but I mean, what a reading. Like, I would just love to do an extension for you if you get a wish like this. I mean, that's huge. You know, the death card is a huge, huge, right in the center to Virgo around all this. This is big. It's big. What messages for additional what messages for Virgo Spirit for the collective for June 2019. Okay. Definitely this one. I almost can't wait to see what this is. Oh my God, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Someone's got to speak up. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. Someone's going to communicate. Communication. Big time. Wow. Virgo, I have the chills. Really. Virgo, those of you that follow me on Facebook, I'll see you Monday. I'll see you Wednesday. Those of you that don't, I will see you guys back here very soon. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.